Hi there. Now, for this simultaneous equation involving log terms, we don't necessarily need to use substitution method, although you can if you want to. But what I notice is that we have terms that are of the same form, lined up underneath one another. So I can use the method of elimination. I can choose to either eliminate the terms that are log x in base 3 or the terms in log y in base 3. If I wanted to eliminate these two terms then I would have to bring this up to a 6 by multiplying this equation through by 3. Or if I want to eliminate the log y terms in base 3 I'd need to bring this up to a 4 by multiplying the top equation through by 2. Well, for this example, I'm going to just double all the terms on the top so I can eliminate the log y in base 3 terms. So let's start then by doing that. If you want to eliminate the log x terms in base 3, I'll leave it up to you. You should end up with exactly the same answer. Well, as you can see, I'm going to multiply equation 1 then by 2. And if I do that, I'm going to get here... 12 log of x in base 3 plus then we'll have 4 log of y in base 3 and that's going to equal 2 sevens which are 14. And I'll call that equation 3 then. So what I'm going to do now is just eliminate this term here by doing equation 3 take away equation 2. And if we do that, we end up with 12 log of x in base 3, take away 2 log of x in base 3. That's going to give me 10 log of x in base 3. These two terms get eliminated, and then we have 14 take away 9, which is 5. And then if I divide both sides by 10, I end up with the log of x in base 3 equals 5 divided by 10, which is a half. And then I can anti-log this, get rid of the log, and that means that x equals the base, which is 3, to the power a half. Or 3 to the power a half is the square root of 3. Now, it won't be plus or minus root 3 here and that's because you can't have the log of a negative number okay so you need to keep checking that out when you do questions like this okay so we've just got the one solution there for x now I need to go on and find the value of y and I can do that by substituting root 3 okay x equals root 3 into any equation, I'm going to select equation 1, seems the easiest here. So if I do that, we therefore have 6 log of x, x is now root 3, and that's in base 3. And then we've got plus 2 log of y in base 3, and that equals 7. Now, I need to group these terms up to create just one term when you're handling log equations. So, I can use the power rule here, and I've got the log in base 3 of root 3 all to the power 6. And then the power rule here gives me the log in base 3 of y squared, and that equals 7. And then... I know that root 3 to the power 6 comes to 27. And I can use the multiplication rule then, and that gives me the log in base 3 of 27 here, multiplied with the y squared. So we've got the log of 27y squared in base 3, and that equals 7. I can now get rid of the log, anti-log this, and I have that 27y squared equals the base, which is 3, to the power 7. 
And so dividing both sides by 27 gives me y squared equals 3 to the power 7 divided by 27, and that comes to 81. So therefore, y equals the square root of 81, which is going to be 9. It's not minus 9, because again, you can't take the log of a negative number. So we end up with y being positive 9. And so therefore, the final solution then is x equals root 3 and y equals 9. Okay?